Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will learn the actual value of digits in a number. Let's go ahead and begin. Write the place of the underlined digit, then write its value. We have the number 146, and the four is underlined. First, we need to remember place value. We begin with ones, then tens, and then hundreds. Now, this is silly, but I tend to remember that by thinking of H2O, water. Now we will begin drawing it out. There's a one in the hundreds place, so we need to draw 100. There's a four in the tens place, so we need to draw four tens. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens. There's a six in the ones place, so we need six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we need to look at the digit that's underlined. That's in the tens place, so let's go ahead and circle our tens. Let's count them. 10, 20, 30, 40. That means the four is actually worth 40. Now remember the directions asked to write the place of the underlying digit? We know that that place was the tens, and now we know that the actual value was 40, not just four. Let's try 528 and underline the eight. And now remember H2O. Let's go ahead and draw our hundreds. We notice we have a five in the hundreds place, so we have 500. In the tens place, we have a two, so we need two tens. In the ones place, we see an eight, so we need eight ones. Now, because the eight is the digit that's underlined, we know we're working with our ones. So let's go ahead and circle our ones. If we count, we know we have a total of eight. So we were working with our ones place and the eight is worth eight because it's in the ones place. Let's try 175. Let's go ahead and draw our hundreds. We have a one in the hundreds place, so we have 100. We have a seven in the tens place, so we need seven tens. And we have a five in the ones place, so we need five ones. Since the one is the digit that's underlined, that means we're working with our hundreds, so let's circle it. And now we notice that it's actually worth 100, not just one. So we were working in the hundreds place, and the one is actually worth 100. 839. We notice there's an eight in the hundreds place, so that means we need 800. There's a three in the tens place, so we need three tens. There's a nine in the ones place, so we need nine ones. The digit that's underlined is a three, so we're working with our tens. Let's go ahead and circle our tens. Now, because those are tens, that means there's actually 10, 20, 30, and not just three. So remember, that was the tens place, which means that three is actually worth 30. Let's take a look at 256. The two is in the hundreds place, so that means the two is actually worth 200, not just two. So the place value is the hundreds place, and the actual value is 200. Let's go ahead and try 334. We notice the four is the digit that's underlined, and the four is in the ones place, so that means it's simply four ones. So the four is actually worth four. 